I'm Jesse McCready. I'm with Anna Module. You can check out our synth modules at anamodule.com. Today I'm just fiddling around with the DOD Icebox Chorus. This is one of my favorites from, oh god, probably 20 years ago at this point. Yeah, yeah, I think this is from 18 years ago. Well, I had been having a problem with intermittent connections. So I set it aside. I don't want to throw it out. It's one of my favorites. It's it's a, it's a stereo chorus, so it takes your mono signal and splits it into stereo. It's it's awesome. But anyway, being older and huh, wiser, <laughs> I took a look at it again. Found it in a box I was going through. It turns out the problem was oxidization on the jacks. The, the jacks were oxidized. Easy fix on that. But I was, I was listening to it and I was thinking, man, wouldn't that be nice if it could go a little faster? So, I found the schematics online and I cracked it open. And it turns out the R60 here, this guy, does the trick. It's originally 15K. I swapped it out with a 2K resistor. See if I go down a 1K resistor, it'll, it'll bog down, it'll go too fast and stop. It's too fast for the capacitors to handle. So, here you go, let's turn it up, I'll give you a listen. See if you can hear that. Turn it down all the way. This is just a triangle wave running into it, it's nothing fancy. at least two or three times as fast as the original had been. It does shave a little bit of the maximum length off. You can make that up by switching the 500k pot out. with a one meg but unless you're using it for panning and stereo well actually that's probably why you would be using it a lot it's got a great chorus sound but it's just added bonus it's, it's extra work though so we're looking at R60 Swap it out from 15k to 2k. You get it going a lot faster. The DOD icebox stereo chorus FX64.